Hi, this is a short video on how to apply a reinforcement patch to your dry suit. We'll be using Malco T5500. Comes in two sizes, the wide size which is 30 centimeters by 50 centimeters. You can also get it as a tape which is 100 centimeters by 22 millimeters. I'll be using a domestic iron at setting number two, but without any steam. If you have it at maximum, it could melt neoprene uh, dry suits. So be careful. So before you start, it's important to do a test that the material that your dry suit is made of can take the heat. So I would simply take an area on a uh, behind a zip flap or a pocket flap and just press the iron onto it for 10 seconds and if there's no damage then you're safe to proceed. It's particularly important on neoprene suits. On Seaskin Nova suits and Seaskin Ultra suits this setting will work fine. Do not use this method on PVC suits because you could melt straight through the suit. So, what we use this tape for is if there's an area of damage or wear and we want to simply reinforce the outside of the suit. The tape isn't waterproof so this tape is not for fixing leaks but just to give some extra strength to the outside. So if you notice an area of wear on your dry suit and worried that it could actually go through the waterproof membrane in the middle you can uh, apply this tape to the outside and uh, stop that wearing. And if this wears out, just simply replace it with another patch. So, first of all, if you imagine the area of wear on a dry suit to be about here, what you can do is cut a appropriate size patch from your neoprene tape. I'm using the, wide, the wider one for this particular demonstration and I'll simply just slice off a piece of tape using a scalpel. Uh, it's about the right width and about the right length. can round the ends very easily if you wish by just pinching it together and putting a curve on like that you get a rounded end likewise at the other end There we go. And you can cut any shape you like out of that to fit round any, any components you've got. So, that's the area of wear. We're going to apply our patch over like that. If it's down an arm or a leg, it can help to slide a piece of scrap wood of an appropriate size down the leg or the arm. I'm just using this short piece of arm of an old dry suit just for demonstration. So there, there's the area we want and I'm putting the wood underneath. We find it's easier to use a thin uh, cloth to cover it and it helps the iron slide over the work so you get a nice flat uh, application of the tape. So take the iron and simply push it on, move it around. And for this, I'd count to about 15 on a near on a trilaminate suit like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14, 15. That should have quite a bit of heat in there. You can help the application by giving it a good roll down with a roller or even the side of an old jam jar. And you can see there that that tape has stuck in, the, in place. Don't pick at it until it's cooled down because the glue on the back of the tape is heat activated. So when we warm it up with the iron, it melts, it sinks into the weave of the dry, uh, dry suit fabric, we push it in and that when it cools, it sets and dries. And there you have a nice little repair. Gives a good, strong, quick repair with no solvents or glues. So just remember, it's for area of wear rather than seal leaks. For neoprene, I use a neoprene arm here. You can do exactly the same process. Maybe I'll do a different shape here. So you can just draw around an appropriate shape. and cut that out. Roughly to start with. And carefully round. So a neoprene suit, so this is a 3mm compressed neoprene. If your damage was here, position that over the damage or the area of wear. Put your cloth over carefully without moving the tape underneath. And again, 15 seconds with a good pressure. Pressing down hard. take that off. There, you can see that the Melco T5000 has melted into that well. So, things to watch is some logos can be affected by the heat of the iron, so you may want to just do a quick test on that before you go over it. Also, plastic cuff rings, plastic valves can also be maybe melted by the tape. So be careful on those areas. If you've got any other questions, uh, email us on info at seaskin.co.uk. I hope you found this useful and thanks for watching.